In this week's video, we take a look around the castle at the top of the hill, otherwise known as the Rabat. We tackle one of those jobs we've been meaning to do for ages, but just never seem to have got round to doing it. And we'll show you how to do the same thing. And from a land where the barbecue is king, we take barbecue lessons from an Aussie. And we'll show you some of the photos from our upcoming video on Copper Coat. It's Monty Python. If it's not a rude question, are you a virgin? <laughs> are you a virgin? Your pardon? Well, if it's not a personal question, <laughs> you not you not watch Monty Python. Did you just walk round? Okay. Yeah. That is. Got shot. <laughs> <laughs> this is my life. Yeah. <laughs> the Rabat of Monastere is a Islamic defensive structure located in Monastere, Tunisia. It's the oldest Rabat built by the Arab conquerors during the Muslim conquest of Maghreb. It's also the most prominent monument of the city of Monastere, and it was founded in 796 AD. What is it? It's um, stuff. Great. It's part of the Great Mosque of um, Koronian. It's hard for me to read Arabic, but it's a wooden corbel coming from the ceiling of the Great Mosque. Gee, that's cool, eh? Stylized animal shape. Both the lateral faces are decorated with vegetable motifs and the frieze is formed by a sculptured curve. You're in French or English? No, Arabic, mate. I do a bit of Arabic. <laughs> what? You don't believe me? The perfume, that's perfume, isn't it? Perfume vials? My oh, French is pretty rusty. Certainly written French is. Mind you, it was only 42 years ago that I did it, so. Fragments of the structure, ornate motifs, floral, geometrically something. The small museum has many artifacts and many more are still being restored and awaiting display. Ancient copies of the Quran, by the looks of things. Have you seen this, Cindy? Astrobe Arib. 105111. Sure, somebody will tell us what it is in the doobly do. Parchment. Parchment original. Restoration. Oh, it's written at the bottom, donut. I kind of recognise those, those are lamps. Oh yeah. So when did they get independence? The, 56, something like that? So that there is the old Rabat. You'd have trouble losing a coin that size, wouldn't you? So this place is over 1,200 years old. It was originally a monastery, but then became what's known as a garrison, which is the direct translation of Rabat. Major blocks are carved from a type of sandstone, and these are held together with an early type of cement mortar, made by heating limestone. <laughs> <laughs> hey! Dude! 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 
think we've just been photo bombed, darling. Hey, you. I now I can't get this to zoom out. While many of the arches are self-supporting, you'll notice that a lot of the windows have wooden lintels. Some of this wood is 1500 years old. questions about it. This is the square that we walked through the other day. The mosque in the background. It's about five o'clock in the evening. It's the mausoleum over there. And then that's the whole of the Back from one corner. Hi, I'm Steve. Hi, <laughs> I'm Steve. <laughs> Action! <laughs> Just a six million dollar man. Here we observe the Tunisian tourist in all its multi colours. A non natural species which is invasive to Tunisia. Note the use of multiple phones. So this is a little job we've been meaning to do for ages and uh, we kind of got to all the end of our jobs on a list in Tunisia other than doing the keel which we're doing in a week's time. So I've made a template up and that says port out face and for the other wheel that one says starboard out face. Uh, let's see if you can guess what we're making. So there we go. From the template onto some uh, fairly hardish foam. Mm. What's that going to be? Just for you got to get me own back. Do you want me to show you how to do it, love? <laughs> <laughs> Spherical objects to you, darling. <laughs> fitted this one's got a hole cut in it for where a radio hangs on they need ironing out take the creases out but uh, foam padded and piece of velcro velcros them on just something to lean against and there's the other one over there so a couple of hours to make those let's say we'll get them ironed out get the creases out of them jobs are good and
<laughs> what do you reckon of that, Steve? Is that a, that traditional? It wouldn't be allowed in South Africa. That I reckon that must be a traditional, like. Aussie thing? Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's nothing wrong with it. Nah, nothing wrong with it, mate. Yeah, I got a bit of WD-40 on it. And some glow juice. And some, uh... She's a good one. And look at that, you know, the best thing about it is I clean it with some of this. And I leave it in there. Look at that. from my barbecue, but you know, when we get this thing cranking, they're gonna be... Who's gonna be laughing later? Cheek, cheek, clap. Cheers, Cheers. fellas. <laughs> <laughs> I hit, I hit the fire is going out. Oh, shit. Yeah, it's <laughs> oh, nice chemicals. Yeah. Look at ants with his nice chopping board, really? shiny. I think you should have moved the feather down there. I don't want anybody in my boat catching fire. Chase is going to kill you. Oh. Shall I say? Yeah. Shall I say you do it, Ron? You want to see how I do it? Yeah. So in Australia, you just go for it. You use a leaf blower. You just give it. Okay. Yeah, look at that. Oh, look at that. Proper forge going. About to make a few horseshoes in a minute. <laughs> yeah. God. They heard there was free beer. <laughs> ah, this is the first video I've video in. Right. They're not interested in, they're not resting yeah. the ceilings yeah. Sunday now, they're interested in, yeah. in Barbados. Yeah, 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 look, look. Put a picture on the That's trying to get his subscribers ah, going. Ah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. No. Coming up next week, we ask, why has our copper coat failed? And why has the company that undertook the work twice and still got it wrong, failed to stand by their workmanship, leaving us having to lift the boat for a third time and do the work properly ourselves. We'll ask questions like, why did they think this was a good idea? And why did they paint over rust spots on the keel? And why is it when Copper Coat advertised their product as having a life expectancy of 10 years or more, just two or three years down the line, you'll end up doing the whole job yourself because their approved installers won't stand by their work. And if you're thinking of installing Copper Coat, this is the one video you absolutely must watch.